Good morning, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, if you have your Bibles with you this morning and you want to follow with me, I'm going to be reading out of Romans chapter 10, a few verses there. Uh, before we get into this, when I first came to salvation, the church that I was uh, accepted into at that stage when I, I came to know Christ, was a very charismatic church, excessively charismatic. Um, and they had a, a leadership group in the church so that everyone that um, was new in the belief, uh, the leadership would give you to one of the leaders to disciple. And so I have testified about this before. I just want to mention it again this morning. They gave me a, a, a man that uh, every Wednesday we used to meet and, and he used to, um, at that stage what I thought, uh, he used to teach me the basics out of the Bible. And so he went and, and he told me one Wednesday evening that it's a sin to, uh, to ride motorbikes and, and ride motocross and at that stage I had a a, a motorbike and I was riding motocross and and so I went and I sold I sold it and the next uh, Wednesday he told me it's a sin to dance and so um, I had a friend at that stage a lady um, uh, a friend of mine's sister that uh, we used to go out dancing so I went to her and I said to her look this is the the situation now and we can't we can't dance anymore and she accepted it and and then two weekends after that I, I, I think or I'm hazy on the on the time um, long story short uh, we got to a festival and there was a dance floor and uh, I found her on the dance floor dancing with that guy that told me that it's a sin to dance and so family in Jesus, I, I learned a very, very valuable lesson there, that, that day. I learned a lesson that I will in my life never forget. And that is never, ever, ever to take someone's word concerning the Bible or the kingdom of God if they cannot show it to me in the Bible. Um. I am, I am very, for a lack of a better word, I am very stubborn on this one thing. I have set my mind and my heart on it. If someone comes to me and says, Jacques, you are not allowed to hold your wife's hand in public. If they cannot show me where that statement is connected to the word of God, I refuse to accept it and believe it. That's it. And family in Jesus, if we look through the word of God, we can see that, that from the very beginning of creation, up until today, where we are living today, people have had it a, a difficult time not accepting what people say to them, but accepting the truth of the word of God. Now, as we walk with Jesus every single day, as we take a step closer to the, the second coming of Jesus, as we take a step closer to us face-to-face -face meeting our Creator one day, um, there's one thing that, that we truly have to concentrate on with everything inside of us. And that is this scripture that we are going to read now. So every single day, not one of us can get to a point or stand up this morning and say, you know what, my faith is complete. I have gotten to a point where I've got all the faith that I need and all the faith that I can have. And I am done and dusted and settled and set. Um, I don't need to um, believe more than I believe now. I don't think that anyone on earth can get to that point. And this scripture that we're going to read this morning just clarifies that. Romans 10 from verse 16. But not all the Israelites accepted the good news. 
For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? Verse 17. Consequently, faith comes by hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. Here it clearly states, family in Jesus, that even the prophets knew that they could not present a message outside of the word of God. They couldn't. Because any message outside of the word of God is null and void. It counts for nothing. It goes nowhere. Every single human being on this earth that is following some moral value, you can take that moral value and you can connect it to a truth of the word of God. Even the atheists that do good works, you can take those good works and you can connect it to a truth of the word of God. So here we can see clearly in the word of God this morning that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And so, family in Jesus, if we seek to hear from the Lord, if we seek to hear what the next step is in our faith, if we seek to hear from the Lord what, what we must do in our town and what we must do in our family and what we must do in our churches, it is excessively important to hear from the Word of God, to hear the message from the word of Christ. As this says now, consequently, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Now, family in Jesus, unfortunately, the, there's a truth to the other side as well. If we are not built in Christ, there are other faiths that we can have as well. And unfortunately, those faiths come from human opinion so certain people that, that proclaim to be in Christ but never ever get into the word of God they can be deceived in a blink of an eye and it's it's dangerous family it is truly dangerous and I think <clears throat> um, I, I think in a, in a small way, I proved that Sunday morning. Um, for a year and a half, we walked closely together. Um, me as, as, as the shepherd and, and uh, you as the, the body of Christ. And by one short three-minute story that I told, um, I was able to swing a lot of people's minds about me. Because afterwards, a lot of people came to me and said, wow, Jacques, you know, I, I, I really sat and thought that, you know, you were on the pipe or, or you were um, taking some, some pills or, or drugs or, or something. And that was only in three minutes. So family in Jesus, it is excessively important, excessively important. That we bury ourselves under the word of God. King David prayed to Yahweh, prayed to Father God and said, Lord, I pray that you will hide your word in my heart that I will not sin against you. Because even David knew that people can come and deceive us. So family in Jesus, this morning, the, the, the word is clear. I, I, don't, I, I don't want it to, to be... Um, uh, I, I don't want it to be confusing this morning. The word is clear. Is that if we are seeking direction in our lives for ourselves, for our church, for our families, for our finances, seek it in the word of God. Because sometimes, family, sometimes, outsiders, people will come in and they will speak to you and they, they might even give you a word. But they don't know you. They don't know your circumstances. They don't know your family. They don't know your finances. They don't know your, your, your church. They don't know your environment. 
So they are speaking out of a different perspective and point of view. And that can, can pull us completely off track. So family in Jesus, if we are seeking God for a word in our lives, if we are seeking God for direction in our lives, the best thing that we can do as the body of Christ right now is to take a hold of the word of God, open it and seek the Lord in the word of God. The direction that you are looking for is in the Bible. The direction that you are looking for in your finances is in the word of God. In your family is in the word of God. Believe me, brother in Christ, sister in Christ, if you want clear direction, it's in the word of God. Because words of man can deceive us in a blink of an eye. So I pray today with you in Jesus' name that if that is you this morning, if you are praying and, and, and you are fasting and you are asking the Lord for a word, you are asking the Lord for direction, family in Jesus, be careful that you are not asking the Lord to receive that word through man. Because somewhere along the line, the Bible teaches us that if we ask, we will receive. And if we ask the Lord that we will receive a word through a man. We will receive a word through a man. But if we ask the Lord to receive a word from him, then we will receive a word from him. So family in Jesus, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Father God, that the only way that we gain faith and that we grow in faith is by hearing your word, Lord Jesus. And Father, from the very beginning, you said to your people and, and your warriors, Lord, Take my word, meditate on it day and night. Be careful to do what it says. Meditate on it day and night. Day and night, day and night. Don't, don't, don't meditate on, Father, you did not say to your people, meditate on the prophets. Meditate on, on the speakers. Meditate, no, Lord, you said meditate on my word. And it is as true today as it was 4,000 plus years ago, Lord. And so I pray, Father God, that as a congregation, as the body of Christ here at Altham Baptist Church, that we will not focus, Lord Jesus, on trying to receive a word of direction or a word of knowledge through humans, Lord. But that we will concentrate on finding a word of direction and, and, and a word of, of encouragement and motivation and edification through your word, Lord Jesus. That we will pick up the word of God and that we will seek you in your word, Father God. And so I thank you for that, Father. I pray that you will strengthen us. I pray that you will give us a hunger for your word. I pray, Lord Jesus, that we will seek you, Lord. Seek you. In the Bible and not in people, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you are doing in us and through us, for everything that you are doing in our church and for everything that you are doing in our town. I pray for protection, Lord Jesus, over everything that you have built here up until now. I pray, Lord Jesus, for protection of every one of our hearts, every one of our minds, that you will draw up a legion of angels around us and hedge us in, Lord, tightly and protect us, Lord. I pray, Father God, that the precious seed of the word of God that has been sown in our hearts and in our, our lives, that that will be protected, Lord Jesus, and that nothing and no one will be able to come and uproot that. I love you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
We thank you, Lord, for everything. And we pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, friends and family in Jesus. Um, please, if you have five minutes today, ten minutes today, take a hold of your Bible. Sit down. If you don't know where to open it, that's why the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, has given us the true counsel of the Holy Spirit. He knows this word better than any human being on this earth will ever know it. So if you have five or ten minutes today, sit down with the true counselor, with the Holy Spirit, and, and ask him, Lord, where do you want me to open your word? Where do you want me to read today? What, what do you have for me in your word today? Family in Jesus, seek the Lord in his word, not on YouTube. Seek the Lord in his word. Seek him today, and I can almost guarantee you, you will find him. Amen. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.